Hey, good morning, everyone. Um, before I read Proverbs 22, I want to um, pray. Um, I forgot to pray this morning. I didn't forget, but I just haven't done it yet. Uh, I'm going to say mine out loud this time. This is my what I call my generic prayer. It's what I pray every day, no matter what. Excluding, you know, personal prayers for people. I, I pray. I don't pray nonstop all day long, but I pray a lot. Um, so, but um, this is this is my prayer. Okay. If it helps, this is the Our Father. It'll be the Our Father prayer. And then I and I thank Yeshua. Yeshua is, is what I call. That's Jesus' name in Hebrew, in Hebrew. Okay, that's why I call him that. Uh, so from now on, when I refer to him as Yeshua, you should know that I'm talking about Jesus. Okay. <clears throat> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses <clears throat> as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord Yeshua, thank you for coming down, living amongst us, dying for our sins and for your resurrection so that for the, those of us that believe in you may have everlasting life. I pray for my daughters, their mothers, their families, my family, and my friends, and the broken misfits, that they are safe and in good health. I pray for the saints that they always seek your face and your kingdom, and always fight the good fight of faith, Lord. In Yeshua HaMashiach's name, amen. All right. Okay. Today's uh, 2 22, 22, and it's Tuesday. All right. Proverbs 22. A good name is more desirable than great riches to be esteemed. Let me start over. A good name is more desir desirable than great riches to be esteemed is better than silver or gold. Rich and poor have this in common. The Lord is the maker of them all. The prudent see danger and take refuge, but the simple keep going and pay the penalty. Humility is the fear of the Lord, and its wages are riches and honor and life. In the paths of the wicked are snares and pitfalls, but those who would preserve their life stay far from them. Start children off on the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. The rich rule over the poor, and the borrower is slave to the lender. Whoever sows injustice reaps calamity, and the rod they we we yeah, <laughs> and the rod they weld in fury will be broken. The generous will themselves be blessed, for they share their food with the poor. Drive out the mocker, and out goes strife. Quarrels and insults are ended. One who loves a pure heart and who speaks with grace will have the king for a friend. The eyes of the Lord keep watch over knowledge, but he frustrates the words of the unfaithful. The sluggard says, there's a line outside. I'll be killed in public, in the public square. The mouth of an adulterous woman is a deep pit. A man who is under the Lord's wrath falls into it. Folly is bound up in the heart of a child, but the rod of discipline will drive it far away. One who oppresses the poor to increase his wealth, and one who gives gifts to the rich, both come to poverty. One second. Let me have this set up a little different. Okay. And now, this is still part of 22, but it's now saying 30 sayings of the wise. Saying one, pay attention and turn your ear to the wise. Excuse me. Pay attention and turn your ear to the sayings of the wise. Apply your heart to what I teach. For it is pleasing when you keep them in your heart and have all of them ready on your lips, so that your trust may be in the Lord. I teach you today, even you. Have I not written thirty sayings for you, sayings of counsel and knowledge, teachings you, teaching you to be honest and to speak the truth, so that you bring back truthful reports to those you serve? Saying two, do not exploit the poor because they are poor, and do not crush the needy in court, for the Lord will take up their case and will exact life for life. Saying three, do not make friends with a hot-tempered person. Do not associate with one easily angered, or you may learn their ways and get yourself ensnared. Saying four, 
Do not be one who shakes hands and pledge or puts up security for debts. If you lack the means to pay, your very bed will be snatched from under you. Saying five, do not move an ancient boundary stone set up by your ancestors. Saying six, do you see someone skilled in their work? They will serve before kings. They will not serve before officials of low rank. And that's that's it for um, chapter 22. Um, the more, further sayings will continue tomorrow on the 23rd. Okay. Uh, I don't really have too much to say right now. Uh, have a good day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.